Welcome back to the channel. Lots of people have been talking about and have asked me to comment on a video that's been circulating in social media and in the news where a black man was stopped, handcuffed and searched under the Misuse of Drugs Act, ostensibly because the officers felt that he wasn't dressed for the weather. So I'm going to give you my views on this, but first of all, let's watch the short clip. You're gonna buy me a coat. I'm just wondering what are you wearing. Well, I wear my own coat, man. Well, well, what's wrong? You gonna buy me a coat? Sometimes, sometimes, mate. Like, if people are trying to hide things or wear baggy clothes, try and cover it up. Listen, I'm, I'm are you gonna buy me a coat? Something. You buy me a new coat right now. I'll give you this coat right now. I'm asking what are you wearing? You're gonna buy me a new coat. We don't it's want your coat. We asking why you're wearing it. You're not dressed. Cause for the I wear, climate. I wear anything I want, man. I wear anything I want. What's wrong with you? You're not dressed for the climate, so it's very. What do you mean the climate? Who tells me? No, no. Who tells me? Who tells me how to dress, man? Can you tell no. me how to dress? No, it just seems Can you tell me how to dress? It just seems like, mate, I'm just saying. Nah, man, don't ever talk to me. You're going to be detaining you. Yeah, go on, go on. Do whatever you want to do. Now, the first thing I'll say, just to caveat this, is that Detective Chief Superintendent Lee Hill of the Violent Crime Task Force did make a statement about this and said, We are aware of footage circulating on social media. This shows only a small part of the incident, and we would ask people not to rush to judgment. In this instance, a formal complaint has been received and is being handled in accordance with the Police Reform Act. But with that said, the police also confirmed that the man had been detained in Dagnall Park in Croydon for the purposes of a search under the Misuse of Drugs Act, section 23, which is why you heard you've been detained under section 23. But nothing was found. But the police also said that he was found in an area known for drug dealing and was wearing several layers of clothing despite the warm weather. Now I'm going to pause there for just a moment because just a few days ago, in fact, I think on the very day of the incident, I took our dog for a walk and I had a coat on myself, under which I had a body warmer, under which I had a sweater. Because whilst the weather was getting warmer, when you go out for a walk in the park, you still still get the cold breeze because it's not quite full-blown summer yet. So I was also out wearing multiple layers of clothing on the same day that this man was stopped and searched. Now admittedly, if one is walking around in an area known for drug dealing, that might be one of the factors officers might consider. However, what I do take issue with is part of a statement issued by Scotland Yard. In the statement, it said that officers approached him to establish his reasons for being in the area. He became hostile and refused to account for what he was doing. He was detained for the purposes of a search under the Misuse of Drugs Act. Now let's take those one at a time. First of all, you don't have to answer these questions. You don't have to account for why you are in the area and what you are doing in the area. Even if you are arrested, part of the caution is, of course, you do not have to say anything. But you must remember that it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something that you later rely on in court. And equally, in many cases, it might be simpler to just tell the police what you're doing in the area, but there's no compulsion upon you to do so. But you must remember that if you are suspected of committing a crime, this may give the police grounds to detain or arrest you. But of course, any such grounds can be thoroughly investigated by way of complaint if you feel that the police acted improperly. And from watching this short video clip, admittedly it's not the full thing, but from watching this clip, I don't feel that he was being hostile. He wasn't necessarily being cooperative either, but far from hostile. He could have been wailing his arms around, he could have been pushing the officers back, he could have been doing lots of other things which could have been hostile. But simply being annoyed that he was being asked why he was wearing a coat and to account for why he was in the area, I might understand why people might be frustrated by that. Now, I also understand that the police have to deal with very difficult situations and they have to make difficult choices to keep the streets safe. And I've also done a video before on the powers of stop and search and what your rights are if you are stopped and searched. But very briefly, the police can carry out a stop and search only if they have reasonable ground to suspect that someone is carrying illegal drugs or a weapon or stolen property of something of that nature. So in this case here, I certainly hope that there was more to it than the fact that this chap was wearing multiple layers of clothing because I was wearing multiple layers of clothing on exactly the same day. But because I get so many messages, questions and requests as to what you can do if you have a complaint against the police, I've been looking out for a while for a company that will handle such complaints and I've found one. It's Claim Experts and I've put a link in the description below which you can go along and put your details in if you feel that you have a complaint against the police. A new report into the policing in the UK seems to show that there's over 67,000 complaints raised against police forces in the years 2020 to 2021. This is more than double the complaints received in the previous year. Now, as always, neither this video or any of my other videos should be taken as legal advice, but if you feel that you have a complaint against the police, you can fill your details in at the link in the description and they will take that further for you. And as always, I'd be interested in your comments in the box below. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.